anyways. Uh, hello there. It's been a long time. At least feels like a long time. Turn right on Bafima Boulevard. My tires finally. Continue one half mile to the end of the street, then turn left. So I'm basically uh, changing my tires from at the end of the street, turn left from uh, street tires, uh, like a 90 10 which came stop with the bike to. 2080, which is the uh, fractionator GPS tire, that's uh, like fractionator adventure tires. Initially, I was thinking of going to the fractionator GPS tire, but uh, uh, you know, I thought I'd probably be doing more off-road than, than the regular average. Uh, so. I'm just going to go with the uh, Fascinator Adventure Tire. So this is like a pretty solid knobby tire. So let's see how that goes. Uh, so I've got about 5,000 miles on this uh, Anarchy uh, T. Uh, I think it's good to go for another uh, couple of thousand, I think. Um, but guess what, uh, I'm going to go for an off-road trip to Big Bend uh, uh, next week. So then I said, okay, you know, let me look for some off-road tires. And I've been uh, wanting to get the um, uh, Moto's uh, Fractionator GPS 5050 tire. So I've been uh, seriously looking at it for like three or four months now. But then I figured that there was another tire which is uh, a little more aggressive than the GPS because the GPS, the guys were saying, is probably uh, you know more like a 50-50 tire and I was thinking, man, you know what, I'm probably getting to the point where I can do a little more serious off-roading so I looked at this guy, um, Fractionator Adventure Tires so this is, uh, they say it's like a 25-75 and uh, I think uh, yeah, that looks uh, pretty good and it's got a lot of knobby stuff and it's very good on sand, deep sand and everything else too and uh, pretty decent on uh, the highway too so that's what I'm going to get uh, here I'm just going uh, over to um, Keith this guy's, uh, uh, he's got his own shop uh, in downtown Dallas and uh, he does carry the uh, Fractionator tires Motors, motors, and uh, I'm gonna hook up with him, and uh, you know he he does a good deal. He matches uh, online prices and stuff, and he's part of the uh, Lone Star BMW uh, club too. So uh, so I'm just gonna get it from him. So it's coming in today. So hopefully it'll be there, and I can get it installed uh, uh, in the next uh, couple of hours. So uh, so. I'm really excited about this uh, Big Ben trip. So, uh, as it's my uh, first big trip, I'm thinking of actually tailoring the bike uh, out to Big Ben and do a couple of days of uh, off-roading with the guys and then uh, come back. Uh, initially, I thought I'd probably, uh, because the guys are driving uh, 12 hours non-stop and you know, I've done about uh, 5 or 6, but uh, you know, I wasn't too comfortable at this point to say, okay, you know what, why wait? tire myself out getting there and then I can do some good off-roading there. Uh, I had initially thought maybe I would uh, you know just uh, uh, drive half the distance the previous day and then come back but then it's going to take too much of my time so I'm going to skip on that. So uh, that's what it is so I'm going to uh, it's going to be fun I think so you can expect uh, to see a lot of video from uh, from that trip and uh, so I'm going to get the tires done today so tomorrow actually I want to go to uh, Rocky Ridge to practice my uh, ooh, 
from the city and the uh, Honda S1000. So uh, tomorrow I'll take the new tires out and uh, test them out in Rocky Ridge off road, just uh, you know, just break it in kind of I guess. And uh, that's my plan. I will uh, keep you posted. And uh, hopefully there's not too much traffic here getting to downtown. I really don't like to get on the freeway. But the only reason I'm getting on is it's, it's giving me an hour and 15 minutes to get there but using the back roads and the 45 minutes to take the tollway. So that's the reason I'm quickly jumping on this. But anyway, I will uh, talk to you guys later. Okay, I'm here in uh, downtown trying to navigate through the streets of downtown. And normally I never show up on this place. So. This is a mess, I think, especially for bikers. I know how I drive when I drive the car here. <laughs> uh, nobody knows where they're going. You just have to go a few miles here. sure what it was called there. Uh. I wasn't sure what it was called so I didn't know what to look for. <laughs> okay. Doing alright? Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, Motopia. I know, I, that name sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you know that yeah. club thing that a couple of the guys are involved with. Yep. This is Keith opening my new sets of tires, the so. Motaz uh, Adventure. Yep. Tractionator Adventure, that's the rear. That's the rear. And the front. That's the front, yep. Cool. That looks pretty knobby. I mean, that should that should work. Keep putting it up. The beast is getting its new shoes. <laughs> new shoes. Yeah. There you go. Got some recording going. <laughs> so this so if I if I tell somebody to look for they need to look for Motopia, this sign is what you need to, yeah. I guess. Okay. And you can see it from uh 
for my 30. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. And, uh, we were walking home last night from dinner, uh -huh. and we hadn't really observed this, but we were walking on Malcolm X right there, uh -huh. and uh, we said, oh look, there's our sign, you know? Oh yeah. And I think when those trees in the, in the fence right there bloom out, we might not be able to see it. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's all that on just on that side of the freeway is all deep vellum. Oh, okay. And that's all you know, bars and restaurants. And stuff. Yep, exactly. So I think eventually this place is all just going to just develop like crazy. I think. Yeah. 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 Just a matter of time. Well, just in the just year we've been here, mm -hmm. that that public storage building has been built. Okay. Just on the other side of it is that parking structure. Yeah. And that garage. I mean that. for about uh, 10 minutes uh, so like 15 minutes yep it is pretty good I'm getting used to it there's the new Mota's adventure tires no you're talking These are seriously some good looking tires I just really love them I'm getting used to it and they're working pretty good tomorrow we'll check them out all sorting. So we'll see you guys later. Have a good one.